guys. Hello, Mary Me Too, everybody. It's Michelle Marie Delaney. Today, I wanted to show you at least part of a video on our new little um, voiceover IP PBX that is uh, in prototype stage. And um, it works with across the internet, of course, but also use it with in house as well. Unfortunately, I um, did a video earlier and it kind of came out kind of crappy. So I figured. Instead of basically rehashing it again, I would just try to explain it from from the beginning of how it works and makes it work. So we'll start with the, the hardware first. Um, it is running on my little Raspberry Pi 2 right here. This little thing here is running free PBX. Um, this is running the whole system, the whole software, everything. Uh, it's quiet. It's no fans. And um, it quietly sits there. Only sips about five watts of power, so it's pretty good for that. And then I'll show you the other part of the system, which is actually where all the business end is. Okay, over here we have two analog telephone attachment devices. Okay, now uh, I'm not going to be able to go into all the details on this, but I will try. The first one is this one right here, which is uh. I gotta plug it in. When I dial extension 27 on our old, this old PBX, it would ring through to this phone on our system. The only problem with that is, um, I don't know if I really want that to do that, but, because, um, that's not straight. So these here is for extensions 2020 and 803 this is for extensions 2001 and 2002 okay rest of them are all virtual phone extensions like software that you run in your computer okay so what's cool is if i call over here on this computer here on my house phone here if I dial 28, say 27, that rings through like a normal phone call in our analog switch. But when this switch here isn't answering, it will forward the call instead to my voice over IP client on this computer over here. So this will ring through to this computer over here. Conversely, I also have a client on my cell phone. And also another one of our mods has a client on his computer. So we can talk to each other without having to pay any phone calls, any long distance or anything. So that makes things really, really easy to talk to as many people as I want. Um, so, uh, programming it up was a little bit of a challenge for a while, but, um, we got it working. So, anyway, that's pretty much how it works uh, on the simplest level. What I'm not going to have to do except is a voicemail system. Um, because I'm sure people want to have vo voicemail extensions. Uh, I didn't set those up yet, so I got to work on those next. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.